This is going to be a walkthrough of how to deal with ratings on a multi-winding transformer. Let's get started here. The first thing we have to do, to do is to determine which is our high side and which is our low side. Well, if you notice here, we've got these leads, H1, H2, H3, H4. Those H leads stand for high voltage, so that's my high side. Down here, X1, X2, X3, X4. Those are my lower voltage windings. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, let's take a look over on this guy right here. I have the transform that is rated 10 kVA, 600 volts, 300 volts to 120, 240 volts. Now looking, I've got 600, 300, that's a higher voltage than say 120, 240. Makes sense? Now what we're going to do is, we're going to determine each winding rating. And the way we do that is, and let's talk just about the high side first, we look at the lower voltage, 300 volts. With these two voltages, 600 and 300, we're going to take the 300 volts and that is our winding rating. So let's get that written in there. So that is the voltage rating of each winding. So when they built this, the insulation and the winding can handle 300 volts of pressure on that winding, and this winding can handle 300 volts of pressure. Now what's this 600 volts for, you ask? We'll talk about that in a later video. Let's look at the X side or the low side. We have the same situation. We have 120, 240 volts. We're going to take the lower of the two voltages, 120 volts, and we're going to apply that to each winding. So now we've determined what each winding is rated to handle. Our next step in this is we notice that we have a 10 kVA rating here. Now what we're going to do is we have to split that kVA in half and that is what each winding can handle as far as kVA output or input is concerned. Therefore 10 kVA cut in half, you do the math in your head, that's 5 kVA each winding. Now remember VA in equals VA out. So that VA, 5 kVA per winding, I've got 5 kVA there, 5 kVA there, 5 kVA there, and 5 kVA there. So I have 10 kVA on my top side and 10 kVA on my bottom side. Let's get that written in. Now what that kVA allows us to do is to determine the current through each winding. So we know that this guy can put out 5 kVA. We know that its voltage rating is 300 volts. So if we take 5,000 divided by 300, it means that this winding here can handle 16.7 amps and this winding here can handle 16.7 amps. Now let's talk about the secondary. Again, we are going to take the kVA, the 5 kVA, and we're going to divide that by 120 volts and we're going to get our current, which works out to be 41.7 amps. So there we go, we've now figured out what our kVA rating is, our voltage rating and our current rating on our primary, our kVA rating, our voltage rating, and our current rating on our secondary. The only thing left to figure out when we're talking about our ratings are, or it's not R, is the turns ratio. And the way we're going to get that is we're going to take the lower voltage and uh, the high side and the lower voltage of the secondary side and we're going to divide them to get our turns ratio. Because remember, turns ratio is always based off of winding to winding. So 300 divided by 120 gives us a turns ratio of 2.5 to 1. Now remember, whenever I do these ratings, it is irregardless of how it's connected. I just deal with the ratings over here and work out everything. I don't care if we got like this guy being parallel connected or this guy being series connected. Do not even look at the connections yet. Just get your ratings in there and in the next video we'll start connecting and taking a look at what happens.